Since Crop Mood has come out and it's so stable, it's prompted me to start using some of my beautiful old vintage lenses, which I've had for a while now, but I haven't used because of the live view preview. I didn't like the way it was all jittery in certain modes, so it kind of put a spanner in the works. But now we're gonna talk about some of the lenses which I love. These lenses were made by a company called Taylor Hobson, and they were established in about 1886. And a lot of you know Cook Lenses, and Cook Lenses actually came out of this company and now produce some of the world's most sought after lenses that are in cinema. I have the 18mm, the 70mm, and the 25mm, and you can see their corresponding inches below. These can be found on eBay anywhere from £50, £100, £250, it all depends. I've never known a lens to have such a random price range, but a lot of the good quality ones are going for quite high money. But you can pick up a set for around a few hundred pounds. They are C-mount lenses, so you need to use them on crop sensors really, because if you try to use them on full frame, you're gonna to have to zoom in, punch in a lot. So on a crop sensor, absolutely amazing. And with the new crop mood, it allows me to punch in on all sorts of formats now, like 2.8K, 2.5K, one to one, absolutely amazing. This is a 70 millimeter here, and equally made of great quality. I had to make the step up ring myself because I couldn't find one that actually fitted at the front. So I got the closest I could and then used bonding glue to bond it in. The reason I used bonding glue is because I wanted to have something that I could remove easily without damaging the lens. And the same goes for the 18 millimeter as well. Bonding glue with a step up ring. And you can see the sizes which I put on a step up ring at the bottom. This is the variable ND I use, which is a 37mm ND, and it's a very cheap one, I'm not going to lie. I bought this on, off eBay for a few pounds, but it works very well. On my M light, I have a C mount to EFM adapter. Again, this was just another cheap adapter that I bought off eBay for a few pounds. It was black, but I stripped it silver just to give it a more vintage kind of look and match the lenses. And looking at crop mood now in 2.8K one to one, you can see we have no vignetting. This is why I love crop mood so much. If you try to use 5K or 1080p, you will get heavy vignette. So the crop mood one to one is probably the best to go on here. Absolutely love this setup. If you're using M in its original body, you're gonna get a very minimal setup. But even on my M light, it makes everything small and compact, lovely to use. So let's go and look at some footage. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video. Bye.